Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Late Night Live number 33, where tonight I decided I was going to try to go live on both YouTube with this camera here and this camera here, and I'm also going to go live on Instagram right now. We'll see how this works. I don't know if it's going to work all that well. I am live. Going on. Uh, good morning to you as well. I'm now. <laughs> I'm just now realizing, though. What up, Otis Winnie? I am live on Instagram currently, but hello, Instagram folks. I'm just now realizing that because my music is set up for my YouTube stream, it is there's no music at all for the Instagram people. So that's just gonna be what that is, I guess. Whoops, potentially poor planning on my part, but uh, that's okay. Not a huge deal, I guess. <laughs> what up, Inez? This is going to be a bit of a, we'll see, it's going to be a stretch for me today to see if I can focus on both the YouTube chat and the Instagram chat. What's going on, everybody, on Instagram? See all the waves. Uh, just so everybody who's logging in on Instagram knows, I'm also live on YouTube right now with a top-down shot and a face shot. So if you want to be a little more uh, interactive with the chat with me tonight, I would recommend jumping over to my YouTube channel and joining the stream there, because um, that chat is replayable and I can keep better a better eye on it uh, than I can the, uh, the uh, Instagram one. But I haven't been on live on Instagram in a long time, so I figured I'd turn it on and just see kind of how it goes. I'm doing names today. Ah, what up, Martha? How's it going? Nice to see you. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> but before I get writing, I just want to tell a, a really quick story. Um, not so much a story, I guess. I'm, uh, all my nerves are super, like, high energy right now. Because, um, yeah, super, super high dittery energy. I just finished doing a two-hour meal prep that I thought was gonna take me a lot less time than that. Um, so I was cooking like 16 chicken thighs in my kitchen and I just finished. And it was like a scrabble to the end, cooking and pulling the vegetables out of the oven and it was madness. And then to get here, set up the lights, get the cameras, <laughs> to get everything working. Um, but I'm here now. <laughs> so uh, we'll see, I'm actually kind of curious what the, um, what my arm's gonna be like right off the bat. I was writing earlier today, you can see here, I was actually testing for the first time. Uh, tonight I'm gonna be writing on not the normal black that I use, but uh, Paul Antonio, the past scribe um, Rhodia paper is what I'm testing out today. I picked up a couple of those pads yesterday. So that's these here. Uh, well, I'll get into my initial thoughts and things like that a little bit later on as we go, but yeah, that's what I'm the black paper because I always kind of write with my same um, with the same black paper that you guys are all used to seeing it's really cheap uh, basically craft lined paper um, so far Martha yes I do wish it was thinner I wish it was thinner and I wish it was a little bit smoother um, it doesn't feel like Rhodia it is definitely better than the black that I than I normally use um, but it's not as smooth as I wish it was, if that makes sense. I don't know if any paper on the planet is, is as smooth as I wish it was, but, um, so much. but then I, got a I, do, I do like them. It is amazing. These super thick cloths pick up a crazy amount of hair. Just look at all But yeah, it doesn't, uh, just one swipe. it's, it's definitely the smoother than, so much easier to um, than a or yeah, than the crappy These paper that I regularly use, so it's a step in the right, right. direction for now me. I can focus on you, not your and the one part that I do love, love, love is these lines. And I know I've, I've seen videos of people talking about them and Paul talking about them. It is lined paper, but the lines are so thin that at certain angles, like the way my lights are set up right now, it's almost like I can't really see them when I'm in sort of writing position. Um, they are super, super fine, which I love. Uh, that's really cool. They're there, but not really. 
slash smart. All right, well. <laughs> Erevin, IG lives are not like YouTube. No, they're not exactly like YouTube. Um, it's a, it's not the same. I guess you can't see my face talking. So right now you guys are just hearing me tell stories to the people that are here from YouTube uh, at the moment. Um, and there's no music. Sorry, because the music is coming in through my headphones. Instagram doesn't get the music. I didn't think about that until right when I went live. So uh, I do apologize uh, for that. I, I will say I prefer, uh, and I will always do my lives on YouTube, but I feel like the Instagram people have been left out a little bit lately, so I, uh, I figured I would jump live on uh, Instagram as well. For this little writing session, doing some names today. I have a list of names, but I'm gonna get warmed up first here because I need to uh, relax my uh, my muscles a little bit. What up, Lori? Yeah, Martha the Black definitely has uh, a bit of tooth to it. It's not bad. Uh, but I could definitely feel it, which I know some penmen really like that. Um, yeah, some penmen really, really like having the, uh, a bit of tooth. I know uh, fountain pen people, business writers, and whatnot like having the, the feedback. But I'm writing with an exceptionally fine, uh, Jalot 303 today, and if it gets... We might get some, we might take a little trip to uh, Snap City here today, we'll see. Cross your fingers, we don't, but it's very possible. All right, what up, Jose? All right, my desk is also making a funny clunking noise today and I don't know where that's coming from, sorry. I'm currently looking for, whoa. A vintage, um, a vintage, uh, furniture person that I can send my desk to, take it to them so they can tighten it up, because I love this desk, but it's a little rickety right now. Uh, once again, for those of you who are here on Instagram, uh, I just want to mention that I am also live on YouTube, where I normally do my lives right now. So if you're wanting a top-down view and to see my face, because I have a face cam over there as well, uh, jump over to YouTube and join us there. I have a feeling tonight's live is going to be a long one, because it's seeming like it's going to, like it's taking me a little while to get warmed up. Whoops, that's not a good thing. I'm also, the paper's new today, I'm also testing out a new um, white ink or a gouache today. I don't know that I have the mix exactly right quite yet. Um, whoa, maybe I do not. I'm telling you, it was writing really good earlier. No, Martha, it's the um, the legs themselves, because the whole, it's all wood construction, my desk. Um, and the joints, like there's no screws, it's all internally constructed. And it has a, like the legs are hollow because it's a drafting table that can raise up and down. Um, and just those connection points are just loose. Um, so it's when I, when I move, it the desk is just sort of wobbling with me. It's the reason I have this whole crazy camera set up. So when my desk wobbles, um, my cameras wobble with my desk, so my footage of when I'm writing isn't uh, crazy shaky. My camera footage stays still because the camera wobbles with the desk. Um, but I would like to eradicate the wobble entirely. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this ink here. And give it a quick stir. 
I didn't stir it up quite enough before getting started. New ink, new paper, new camera setup. Oh, it's a new Tuesday. What up, James? Welcome. Yeah, I... Sorry about that, that you guys can't hear the, the nib scratchiness. I gotta figure out how to bring that back without you guys losing my voice too much. Uh, AK Adam writes, I'm not sure if this one, if the IG Live is going to save to IGTV, it might. Um, but I might not save it because there is a high def version that will be saved to YouTube. So it's probably, it's the same live. Um, I'm live on both platforms. It's just from a different camera angle. So that one will for sure be saved. So I don't know if I'll save the Instagram one this time. Whoa, my writing needs to shape up if we're going to have a good session tonight. <sighs> oh, I just need to relax. I don't know if... That cooking situation stressed me out. What's going on, Mohamed? I mean, the sound is, I mean, nib scratching. I didn't know for a long time that you guys weren't hearing the nib scratching. I thought you guys were. Uh, and then I was told you weren't. And um, uh, when I tried to fix it, I got some requests because I guess my voice wasn't loud enough. So I'd have to, I gotta figure out. I can make the microphone stronger, I think. But when I drop it lower, because it's a targeted microphone, I guess my voice goes hard to hear. All right. Took the hoodie off. Maybe now we can properly be relaxed. A couple nice breaths here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was stressed out with the cooking today. My um, my smoke detector went off like five times when I was cooking. Uh, there was no smoke. It's just crazily, crazy, crazy sensitive. Um, so I kept having to like run and fan it off and then get back to the kitchen before, uh, before my food burnt. Oh, it was, it was quite a fiasco. Note to self, don't meal prep on Tuesdays before late night live. Yeah, I can't see these lines, they're so tiny. There we go, starting to get a little bit of fluidness going on. Sort of. chair ever so slightly oh thanks a lot james this shirt is from uh, mr cams if you check him out on instagram at mr cams i got this from him uh, when i when we were in poland teaching together back last january good time cool dude and i have this one and then another one that has the gold k I'm just guessing that I'm on a line. From my angle, the, the lines are completely invisible. I don't know if Instagram can see the lines because of the contrast. 
looks like YouTube can kind of see them. It is magic. I mean, well, technically, I can't really, like, right in this area where the, uh, where the, um, where the light is reflecting a little bit from one of my lights, I can see the lines here, and then when I get to about half page, it's sort of, uh, guesswork. <laughs> Ooh, we're doing names today, so I'm going to be doing lowercase letters. I haven't done lowercase letters in a live video in a while. Oh, you can hear that scratchiness. This paper wants to snag. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Color Inks. Letting us know that Instagram also cannot see the lines. What up, Gloria? Welcome. All right. I'm actually going to change, uh, give me two seconds here, I'm going to change my YouTube camera angle ever so slightly. You guys are looking, your view is not exactly in my writing zone. I just want to fix that real quick. So I'm not going out of frame every two seconds. Is it tea time? Oh, Marilyn, it might be. I have, I have remembered to make tea in my crazy haste to get this started today. That's better. Dancing Penman. That wasn't so cheesy. I would use it as a business name. <laughs> if anybody can think of a cool version of something that is the Dancing Penman, I would use it as a as a call sign or or uh, or something like that. <laughs> um, Amy, today I am using uh, this is Rodia, uh, the Pascribe Rodia uh, collaboration. I don't know what is it, Rodia Carbon Black Paper, their Pascribe um, Paul Antonio tablet that I just got yesterday. I purchased it yesterday from a store local here, and I uh, this is essentially, except for what was at the top of the page, it's Maiden Voyage. I'm just kind of feeling it out. Pensing Dan Man. <laughs> nice. G2, that's great. A name I thought of a long time ago I thought was really cool, um, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, well, it makes sense, but not a lot of people know what the word means. Um, was the itinerant penman. I thought that was cool because I was traveling so much, um, but a lot of people don't use. I mean, itinerant isn't a common, not a common use word most of the time. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom. Oh, Olivia, this is a, uh, today I'm using a Jalot 303. It is, it's from sort of a, a freak batch of 303s that were really, really good. Um, most of the time I use a Hunt 101 or a Leonard Principal. Cheek to cheek. Cheek to cheek. 
<laughs> yes, toilet paper commercial in the middle of my live. I love it. What happens when you're too stingy to pay for Spotify Premium? starting to quite like this ink as well. Ooh, blueberry tea. That sounds delicious, Marilyn. Ah, uh, Amy, no. These, um, this paper has, you can't see it on Instagram, but it is lined. Here, I'll see if I can angle the paper so you can see the lines on Instagram. You can see, there they are. Yeah, it is very fine lined, uh, and it comes that way, so they're not, like, erasable or anything like that. That would be cool. If a company could create a paper that was printed with like a, not graphite, I guess, but some kind of extremely fine line that could be erased after use. There's a, there's a million dollar idea right there. People would love that. I'm assuming I would love it. Yeah, give the 303 a shot, Olivia. Normally, they're they're not super flexible. Uh, they're more sort of geared for copper plate or engrosser script. Yeah, I'm completely guessing where the line is when I get to that side of the page. I guess unless I look at it this way, which feels weird, then I can see the line. It completely disappears. <laughs> it's a, a chickeny day. Uh, Gloria, no, no slant lines on the uh, on the past price tags. They are just uh, just the horizontal lines. Uh, we don't need slant lines. We just we just gotta practice until we don't need them. We just write on our own slate. I mean, Rhodia, uh, Amy, Rhodia is my favorite. It's my favorite paper. Jeez. <laughs> Look at that line. That's terrible. Follows the line and then it goes, ew. Wow. It's really weird not being able to see the guidelines. I gotta get used to that. We're having it's like a guideline, no guideline day. Oh yeah, I'm totally off. Oof. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe this using this paper today was a poor choice. Because I can't see. I shouldn't need to see the lines though, that's the problem. Oh, nice, Amy. That's great. 
help. It's it's nice to eventually take off the training wheels of the slant line guide sheet and just go without one. It's they're good to have, but they're also good to not rely on. Um, but I rarely write without a horizontal guide something to guide me. I can do it, but I don't do it very often. I don't get a lot of practice at it. So today is very strange. <laughs> What up, David? Dave, sorry. Jeez, it's because I read your name every time. <laughs> I'm used to just reading what I see. My apologies. All right. I think once I get, I'm going to just do some random writing until I get to the bottom of this page. Right, not Dave. You want David. Why can't I remember that in my brain? <laughs> Sorry, I got you. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna finish writing some random, random just letter forms and strokes on this paper. Getting used to these extremely fine hair or lines. See where I can, where I can see them, and where I can't. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's good to get used to writing without lines. Um, I just never do it. Uh, when I write without lines, I don't do like full lines. Like I'll do signatures and individual names and stuff without lines because that's just individual things. But um, I do run into issues when I get about past halfway. I start to, uh, yeah, I start to lose my, um, <laughs> my, my horizontal line a little bit. Did you seriously just compliment my fingernails? That's hilarious. I was actually thinking I need to I need to cut them in a little bit here. Since you mentioned it, I'm gonna talk about them. look at this 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 fingernail here, my middle finger on my left hand, has a weird um I think I grabbed something and it dug in, so it looks it looks funky. There's like a it, the nail it's separated from the skin a little bit more than it's supposed to. But I try to take good care of my nails. I trim them and I use, <laughs> I have this at my desk because I use it for nibs, but it also is what I use when I, I go through all the steps every time I clip my fingernails. Cause it feels, it feels good to have nice, smooth fingernails. But, I don't have a cuticle routine. Every once in a while I, I'll push them back I think it was my mom that taught me that I'm supposed to do that. So I push my cuticles back and try to keep them healthy. But, uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, Amy, uh, on Instagram, if I've been missing your messages. Anybody who's watching on Instagram, uh, I have two... It may not be a smart thing to do, but I have two lives going today. I'm live on my phone on Instagram, and then I'm also live uh, on my normal live on YouTube. So if you want, uh, if I'm missing any of your comments or things like that, uh, if you're if you're able, I would recommend jumping over to my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a link to tonight's stream in my bio um, to join in on the conversation over there. I'm much better at, at keeping an eye out at that um, or to that chat. Oh, blue lit horizontal. 
horizontal guidelines would be cool. Because then you don't see... That's act. That's really clever, too. That's a good idea. Oh, really? That's cool. I know there's like a... For, to me, I think there's like a... It's usually around seven seconds uh, delay from when I say something and you guys hear it. Uh, I think. Um, but I didn't know what was going to be going on with the Instagram one. So weird, because there's also, inst I wanted to get it, uh, my Instagram going, but to have the Instagram view not in the other two cameras views, man, there is, I was dealing with crazy uh, highlights and shadows, and today was a crazy day getting set up for the live. <laughs> what up, Fozzie? Welcome to the madness. We haven't really got started with my name, my name writing yet. I'm still in warm up slash calm down mode. What up, Camilla? Welcome. I've been doing this a lot lately, and I don't like it. It's something I definitely need to stop doing. Pulling my shade so far to the left. I don't usually do that, but just lately. It started happening. When you're bothered by your mobile company, you're bothered by everything. Like Jessie and her boyfriend Aaron. Ooh. Aaron's mindless humming was starting to get to Jesse. His mindless humming was starting to get to me. Me too, Jesse. But since switching to public mobile, where there's rewards that lower her phone bill, Jesse is now free to feel the love again. <laughs> hey. No contracts, no commitments, what? no hidden fees. Save more at public Why were they that what were they doing close to the Monstero Fuzzy? How did it break? Or were they not getting enough mom attention and they broke it? Uh, to get back at you for, I don't know, doing mom stuff instead of, instead of, uh, <laughs> or doing fuzzy stuff instead of doing mom stuff. What up, Hannah? Welcome to the live. I'm going to be writing names uh, in a little bit here. I got a little bit left, a few more inches of paper to practice write my way through. And then I'll get started with the list of names that people on Instagram gave me today. Oops. Just trying to get sufficiently warmed up. Oh, throw pillows. Dangerous. You can never trust a throw pillow around. A uh, monstero fuzzy. You gotta be careful. Those throw pillows, man. They should. They need to come with disclaimers. Hello, prolific dreams in art. Good evening, or good morning, or good day, or whatever time it is for you. <laughs> I feel like I need to keep mentioning people on Instagram. Don't know who I'm responding to when I'm responding to YouTube chat. And YouTube chat doesn't know who I'm responding to when I'm responding to Instagram chat. So basically, I'm just having conversations with myself. Which, in real life, I'm sitting in my apartment by myself, having conversations with myself, essentially. Oh, no, your plant will be fine, Fuzzy. I think it'll, it'll be alright. It'll bounce back. I have faith. Did you name it? Does that Monstera have a name? I don't remember if you name your plants or not. You don't name your plants? Why not? Next time one of your plants dies, I'm gonna say, well, no wonder it died. Identity crisis, didn't even know who it, who it was. Yeah, the Instagram people are like, who's this fuzzy person who doesn't name her plants? She's crazy. You should always name your plants. I finally named my little, uh, my little succulent that's in the inkwell. His name is Sumi. 
<laughs> and then when I get when I fill more of my inkwells with little succulents, I will name them things like Iron Gall and Gouache and things like that. Because I'm a nerd. Look, I want this paper to be smoother. It feels like it should be smoother. I can hear it on the way up. Yeah, Sumi's great. I'm gonna show you guys Sumi. I'll be right back. I'm gonna find Sumi. Sumi's growing. I have so many of these vintage ink wells that I don't use because I just use my ink jars. But I use my ink wells I plant, this was the, t the first test, and he's grown quite a bit since I planted him um, in his little, in his little jar. So that's Sumi, people on Instagram, so you can meet Sumi as well. That's Sumi, he's a little succulent in an inkwell. <laughs> he sits, here, we'll put him, we'll have Sumi be in the video so he can sit up there by the clock. There you go. Spectate from above. <laughs> Um, I am today using uh, one of the Rhodia Pascribe uh, Carbon Black uh, tablets, one of those pads. I'm testing it out. This is its maiden voyage. Ah, what's going on, Mom? That delay might just be because of farm internet, potentially. Maybe not, though. But there might be a delay. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. My internet might also potentially have some some issues sending out two streams, I'm not sure. The biggest thing I feel like to get used to with this paper is how because the lines are fine, but they're close together. It's a it's a smaller ruling than I'm used to. Um, so I keep wanting to drop, like, if my eyes, uh, like, this was the bottom of the, that's the other one baseline, I want to write, like, naturally about right here would be my next baseline. But according to this paper, well, I was in between lines there as well. There's a line, there's a line, there's a line, so it's small. I would want this line to be, like, like, there-ish for what I'm used to. We're starting to warm up. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was worried that my cooking fiasco was going to ruin the whole night of writing. What up, Shagrudy? Oh, you're very welcome, Al. Al fire. Is there any paperwork telling how big the... Um, not really. I mean, there's... Different books recommend different spacings. Um, you normally... The book will tell you the ruling that they use in the book. Um, so you go by that. But it's... One of the most common ones. I um, can't remember now. My brain is not bringing the numbers to my head. <laughs> Sorry. But because there wasn't like a specific right or wrong uh, line spacing, it was just uh, it was more of a personal preference thing, and depending on how big the writing had to be. And then there's yeah, the college rule, wide rule. There was all the na I don't know what do I normally use? My most nat or my natural ruling? This is one of my guide sheets. I normally use five sixteenths. Five sixteenths of an inch is what I use as my normal, uh, what I'm used to the most, like correspondence and whatnot, which is approximately eight millimeters, I would say. This one is six, yeah. Sorry, I didn't, if that was the question what this one was, I apologize for 
such a long-winded, ridiculous, not <laughs> helpful answer. Um, uh, this one is six. I like eight. Um, usually between eight, nine, and ten is sort of my zone, um, where I write in the most. Six is small, but I mean, you could also write like if I went um, like triple spaced, so if that was my top and this was my baseline, that would be a good size for like practice writing as well. Uh, for Spencerian capitals, ornamental penmanship, ornamental penmanship capitals, that's a good uh, like triple spaced is pretty good. Ooh, Andrew, how do you do a lowercase q in my style? I do a lowercase q like that. Or sometimes like that. Or the traditional, in traditional Spencerian, they would do the q like that. I don't do it this way because that requires you to go into the U from a hard, weird point like that, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I use this one right here. Yeah, I can't see when it's over. <laughs> I can't see the lines. I'm going to look like just an unruly writer who writes wherever he wants on the page. 3 16 is a good size. Um, it's a wait. I mean, for me, I guess it's always, I'm always using two or three of the ruling for my capital letters. I never write, like, that's never going to be my, my X height or anything, which is why I don't think I ever focus too much on, yeah, I don't, it's not like a specific thing. It's just making sure I have enough space between for my ascenders and all that, or, yeah, for my ascenders and descender strokes. So it's usually, it needs to be at least, um, five eighths is probably like the smallest that I'm used to writing, that I write capitals as a spacing. That's two times my five sixteenths guide sheets. And I mean, my X height is usually like two millimeters, two and a half millimeters, something like that. It's usually pretty tiny. Pretty tiny. Um, I was not taught, uh, Andrew, I was not taught Palmer Method uh, when I was in school. Um, I have studied Palmer Method before, uh, but I don't really do um, business writing all that often. Um, so I've studied Palmer Method and, the other, and other styles of business writing. Um, prefer to get fancy with the shades. I did actually, Marilyn, I did get the gray pad, and I have yet to use it. Maybe that's what I'll use for the names. Yeah, when you go smaller, like a lot of people like to go small because you can hide mistakes and stuff when you go really small. Um, 
it's uh people try to get away with going small quick because writing looks better usually smaller you don't see as much of the squiggly lines and as much of that because there's not as much room for error but um Once it's nice, it does look, I think it looks better, smaller. <laughs> I disagree, Fozzie. The big thing that gets people with um, going small is moments like, like this end, for example. It's tough to get that, that ending shade. Hairline and hairline. So, when you crank that down, make that all happen in two millimeters or less. There's a lot of really fine control that has to happen in there at a relatively quick pace. Whoops, that's not how you spell relatively. Uh, whoops. We're just going to make it even worse of a spelling mistake now by adding it like that. Real a take. Yeah, we'll create our own word. Why not? All right, I'm going to call this sheet finished. And we're going to dive into our names. I might move my top camera again. I'm just not, I'm not satisfied with it today. I think small is such a fun challenge sometimes. I quite enjoy writing. Writing tiny, always have. All right, let's get a new sheet. There's the, if anybody was wondering, or wanting proof, there's the pad that I'm using today. Get a new sheet off of it. Some names on this one and then I'll do some other ones on the on the gray maybe give it a test Is my hand I don't know I don't know if I trust my hand I put lotion on again I don't I don't like using glide sheets I know they're recommended in a lot of books and people like using them I personally do not I would much rather not use them but I also put lotion on my hands and that ends up getting all over the bottom of the page. But I'm going to be a rebel and we're going to risk it. I guess I've always written tiny, even since I can remember uh, in kindergarten, before grade one, I remember the teacher passing around like a clipboard. She would come around with a clipboard and you had to sign your name. Was that kindergarten when we learned how to write our names? My years might be messed up, but I feel like the memory is in my kindergarten classroom. Um, but, uh, <laughs> David, <laughs> I don't put lotion on for my cuticles. I put lotion on because I'm old and my hands are going to get wrinkly. And it just feels, my hands feel crazy dry all the time. I put lotion, I mean, I put lotion on. All the time, always have, I guess. Um, so if that's if that's a, a cuticle routine, then there's my cuticle secret: uh, CeraVe lotion, hyd or CeraVe hydrating lotion for your cuticles. There's the there's the secret. <laughs> that's funny. And I uh, chew them and do all the other things you're not supposed to do with them. I don't wear gloves when I do dishes. I don't do any of the things you're supposed to do for your hands, except put on lotion. And it's only because I don't, my hands feel, I don't like the feeling of dry hands. It bugs me. I don't put on really, I don't wear lotion really because it's good for my hands. I wear lotion because they just feel bad. They feel dry and ugh. <laughs> there we go. There's the... Movement writing, the key to movement writing, that's what everybody will learn in the class coming up. 
Um, the key to movement writing is hydrating lotion. <laughs> oh, there's chat going on here on Instagram. Sorry, Instagram folk. Uh, no need to apologize. You're not here late. Uh, I am writing names. People suggested a bunch of names for me earlier today. Um, since I started, I guess it's been almost an hour that I've been warming up now um, and chatting with the folks on the YouTube chat as well. I will again encourage anybody that's on Instagram, if you have the, the ability to jump over to YouTube, uh, in my opinion, it's a, it's a better live experience, but uh, I didn't want to... I've been excluding uh, the Instagram live for a long time, so I decided to jump on both today. Which I don't know was a good choice, but whatever. <laughs> there's, there's David. There's my mom's in here. There's proof. Always lotion. I like lotion. Always have. It feels good. I like when my hands feel soft. But I'm picky with lotions. Most lotion, even like expensive lotion, a lot of osh lotion, osh lotion, wow, a lot of lotion feels like oily to me. And I'm, I don't know if I'm super sensitive to just the feeling of it. It's, uh, I can't handle, most lotions are really, really annoying. But the CeraVe Hydrating Lotion, it's it's perfect. It's like creamy water, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, AK, yeah, I'm using uh, Gelat 303 today. Oh, I missed a question. Uh, any nib that I don't care for? I mean, I really only use the Leonard Principle, the Hunt 101, or the Gelat 303, um, or sometimes a, uh, a Nico G if I'm doing slower writing. Um, but aside from those, it's any other nib that isn't one of those three or four are essentially nibs I don't, I don't really care for. Not because they're bad, it's just I have what I like and I see zero reason to find other nibs because the nibs I like are perfect for me. Yeah, like the, the 22B, perfectly fine nib. Um, I can't say anything really good or bad about it. I wouldn't use it because it's not it's not one of my nibs. I have a box of them here, but I've never really used them. Creamy, no, not, oh, maybe there's a secret, David. You gotta do a test next week. Just soak your head. I mean, I'm assuming if you soak your hands in milk, that would actually probably be healthy. People do milk baths and stuff. That is not what I do, but uh, not creamy in like a, in a, uh... <laughs> this is a ridiculous conversation. Not creamy in a, um, in a milk dairy product type of way. <laughs> I'm telling you, CeraVe hydrating lotion. It is by, by far my favorite. I'm not a skincare specialist or enthusiast or anything like that but it is the one lotion that i will always want to have when i'm traveling or wherever i'm going because it's it just feels like my hands got soft it doesn't feel like i put anything on my hands to get them soft oh in blood there you go there's another one we have to do a test so maybe we'll get i'll get a vat of blood <laughs> and a vat of milk and for a week I will soak one hand in blood and one hand in milk and then in the end we will do a comparison contrast and see which has had a better effect on my um cuticles <laughs> ah, so ridiculous <laughs> sorry Instagram people are having serious conversations about ink and nibs and I'm over here on YouTube talking about milk and blood on my hands. This is your fault, David. I'm 100% blaming you. Oh, there we go. My mom was referring to always writing tiny. See? Always wrote tiny. Since, since I very, very first learned to write. Tiny is fun. Oh, Andrew, that would be fun. Andrew on Instagram just suggested... Or how cool it would be if there was a calligraphy competition show. We could have um, Michael Saul host it. 
I don't know that I'd want to be on it. Too much pressure. I don't like pressure. I would want to be involved. I would be, I will host it. There we go. Let me be the host. I'll be a host and a judge, maybe. Can I do both? I don't know if I'm allowed to do both. Now that is a project that I can get behind. Whoa, that wasn't my nib. That was me. I did that. I fully lifted in both places. I'm so nervous about getting a, a snap. I haven't snapped on this paper yet, but it feels like it's it wants to. Fozzie, I honestly feel like if Michael Saul and I hosted any event together, nothing would get done. It would be the most hilarious, enjoyable event ever to have happened on the entire planet. <laughs> but I don't know that uh, we would ever get to the actual project. Um, just knowing him and I together, it would just be, a, it would be an amazing gong show. It'd be something I would definitely want filmed, but if I was a competitor or some competitor, I'm not so sure I'd want to be involved. But there we go. Wow, Andrew's got this whole thing set up. Pitch it, Andrew. Make it a thing. You got it. You can make it happen. Whoa, come on, smooth it out. I can't decide if trying to find the hairline or the the guideline is what's making me tentative my writing is not very free today oh there we go that was a nice hairline <laughs> straight up i would have trouble jose being as angry as gordon ramsay but i would definitely enjoy pointing at people's work and criticizing ovals. You call that an oval? Do you even know what an oval looks like? Walk up to somebody, oh, I was not aware that ovals were asymmetrical. <laughs> I would I would very much enjoy enjoy that. Yeah, pretty written things, exact it would be very similar to what this live is tonight. I would get nothing done and I would just share stories and talk. But it's really where these lives started 33 late night lives ago. This is, thank you very much everybody for hanging out and in, indulging me, allowing me to uh, get my entertainer fix for the, <laughs> for the week. It's been, it's been lacking since I can't travel and can't perform like I normally do. Starting to get to Jesse. His mind was Poor contestant. Yeah. I mean, I would be nicer than Ramsey Said. I wouldn't be. I think. I'm not really good at being angry. It would be. Or like during the break, I would have to go to people and be like, "Hey, hey, hey I, I didn't mean that. It was just, it was, it was for show. I'm not actually a mean guy. Your ovals. I mean, they need a little work, but they're not that bad. Don't worry." Turns out the answer kind of depends on us. We also have the ability to pack your nibs and go <laughs> so we can choose whether we're screwed <laughs> like cooking knives i love that jose that's great yeah pack your nibs and get out of here somebody has like a really long oblique holder and they're not doing good writing i'll walk up grab it snap it off right like that stop trying to be fancy which i don't remember the name of the penman there is a an old penman who did that once. I don't know if it was his own pen or if he was writing with somebody else's pen, but he did that. He was writing and it had a long tail and he just he broke it because it was it was annoying. Um, I had a conversation with a student that's in my Spencerian class just yesterday. I think it was. He was asking me about pen holders and about lengths and stuff like that. When well, you can all see the length of the holder that I'm using right now, but um, the lengths hardly mean anything. But I can't remember who or where that story came from, but somebody did that. 
Was it Dale Tisdale? Did it? Oh, I'll have to ask somebody who would know. <laughs> what letter should this be? We're going to make it a W because I seem to like writing W's today. Or it's going to be nothing. Wah, boo. All right. Oh, come on. Let's write names. on my desk right now. I don't want to go through my drawer to get one, but if I have one out here that's prepped, I will write with it. Is that one of the good ones? That is. I want to see. I changed nibs. Maybe I'm being mad at the paper, but it's just because I've been writing with a crazy used nib. I don't think so. Pretty sure. That nib is decent, but we'll double. Oh! White ink. There's one downside to using white ink and white paper towel. When you use saliva. <laughs> Never done that on video before. Uh, Fuzzy, how many names am I writing? A bunch. <laughs> I got quite a few here, I'll show you. There's there's them all. Do, do, do. Instagram gets has a better angle to see all the names that I'm gonna be writing. I mean I might not get to all of them, that's okay. Oh, there's another thing that the, the Gordon Ramsay, Michael Ward host or judge would say. He would go up to people when people get like nib snaps. Like, oh, you just bought yourself a one-way ticket to Snap City. Pack up your nibs and get out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Snap City. Show yourself out. Oh, Jose, we'll see. Possible. I never make promises. Okay, let's start here. C H A C L Y N, Jacqueline. These are gonna be crazy, overly flourished names. I'm gonna sort of keep them in the in the style that I've been using so far today. Oh, I just realized I changed nibs and haven't tried this nib yet. Is it even gonna write? What up, Villas? <laughs> there is no wrong time today. We're just randomly chatting. Oh, Andrew, Mike Saul could definitely not uh, be mean to somebody like Ramsey. That would be 100% impossible. I have a hard time imagining Mike Saul being mean to anybody. Okay, this nib doesn't write at all. Why? Why won't you write, Mr. Nib? We're off to a rough start today, folks. Oh, holy moly! Ah, this is a perfect example. I'm gonna see if I can show it on camera. I probably can't. This is a perfect example of why this freak, uh, freak Jalot 303 was never, or, or was changed, why they made them thicker. I don't know if you'll be able to. Their Instagram can maybe see it. And it no, it's not good enough to highlight, it's in the way. So there is literally not two times touching the paper. One time, like here, I'll draw it. The end of that pen, like both the times are going out like this. So this is the first time. 
The second one isn't going to the end. It's ending like right here. So it's only one time. And this one's just like shaves off to a taper. So one ends there and the other one ends at the tip. So that is not a good sign. What about a Leonard principle? Maybe we want to write with a Leonard principle. I want to write with the 303. <laughs> oh, Phyllis, okay. Uh, when you walk, when you got in here, um, we've been, we were talking about, somebody on Instagram suggested a TV show for like America's Best Penman, um, and then the judges, and we were imagining being like a Gordon Ramsay judge. And like yelling at people like you call that an oval and things like that so that was my i guess impersonation of gordon ramsay being angry at somebody for snapping and kicking them off the show basically uh marilyn what's freakish is they were due uh they were too flexible they were too um too thin so they're unruly so the machines when they were um cutting the slits and things like that, it was almost impossible, uh, just the way their machine set up, to keep them all consistent. So quality control was uh, pretty poor there for this batch of pens. Snips looks like it should be good. Doesn't look like it should be <laughs> snapping. Like just for sake of being thorough, I'm gonna do a little bit of this action. I don't know that I've ever done this on a live video. I've done it on videos, but never on one of my late night lives. I'm going to really quickly Not Instagram. Gonna give this a really quick tune up, and I might ruin it entirely in the tune up, but because I'm being hasty. I'm not very scientific when I tune up my nibs like this. Write a letter to Jillian Michaels? I mean, sure. Sorry, not a very exciting video. I probably should just use the Leonard principle, but I got on this. Flow of fixing this nib. What's going on, Erevind? Oh, you've... Erevind's name is on my list. If I ever get to it. <laughs> nice, okay, Swinny. Oh, bye, Martha. I didn't see. Sorry. See you. I didn't see the goodbye. I'm not paying enough chance, enough attention to chat today. Okay, if this doesn't work, it'll be a perfect example 
of how you should pay more attention when you're grinding and tuning nibs. If it works, well, it'll prove that you don't have to be uh, super precise, which I'm hoping for the second one, because I like not being super precise. It even sends you alerts when you may be short funds and reminders about upcoming payments, so you avoid unnecessary fees and stay in control of your money. Open your CIBC Smart account today. Get $300 and pay no monthly fee for up to 12 months. That's mm. not just smart. That's everyday smart from CIBC. Conditions apply. Learn more at CIBC.com smart. I don't know if it's better or about the same, but we're going to go into the names anyway. First name, Chaclin. C H A. C L Y N. All right. Submitted by Aloha Aloha Hand Lettering. Chocolate. Started with a bit of an airline, but <laughs> Aravind, we'll see. We'll see what happens when I get to your name. But you just you just did Aravind. That's not a signature. That's just a name. Isabel. Ooh. I again stuttered at the top. Oh yeah, that's for Lady Hawk seventy five. Good morning. That's for you. <laughs> the nib on the end kind of got a little out of control there. I think this ink might still be a little too thick. When I go a little too fast, I start losing the line. <laughs> the signatures out of names. What do you mean? So Erevin, you want to be A R? A R Avind? That what you're talking about? That kind of a <laughs> signature? Oh, see, right off the bat, Mamed's in here, and he wants M I B A B A E V. His name definitely requires planning. Can't just go into. Hmm. Or can I? That won't work. It's hard to combine the letters of Mamed. Mamed has some tough signet or tough letters in his name. And we'll see what we come up with. Maybe too long of a shade there. This would be cool if I could do it, but I don't know if I set myself up very good for it. <laughs> Not exactly it's the right idea, but B A B A E V. Go. 
go. That's my on the fly. Oh, focusing in and out. Sorry, thanks for letting me know. There we go. Fixed. Yep, sorry, thanks for letting me know, you guys. When I was zoomed in on the on the nib, I forgot to put it back to uh, the paper. My apologies. Okay, Annie Caliscript wants uh, Anindita. Anindita. Anindita? I think that's how you say that. I apologize if I say anybody's name wrong. It's not intentional. <laughs> nice. What happened? There's no, no way. What is going on? This ink is weird. Because <laughs> I sweat when I first mixed this, I thought it was way too thin. And now I've been thinning it out every time I write with it, and it keeps feeling too thick. I don't get it. I don't understand. Nope, no coffee. Just uh, cooking excitement. I didn't have tea or anything today. I had nothing except water and life. Let me start this and figure out. I'm frustrated that it feels that thick. does it again, I will jump back to um, bleed proof, which is what we're used to. Am I even using the guidelines on the paper? Nope, I can't see them. Oh yeah, you can see, no, my maids goes way off the line. I can't see them. I'm sort of crossing my fingers that I'm hitting them, but I can't see them, so I can't see them on the, on like the, on the display, like on my little um, preview screen or <laughs> in real life. I can see them right here, but then once I get to about here, they're gone. So I'm just sort of guessing. And in and in detail. I can't stay on the line. It's impossible. Which is just making it look worse. I apologize. <laughs> and indeed. I'm what, like, my line is, the funny thing is, my line is straight, but it's at a different angle than what my camera and paper are set up at, which means I should probably set my camera and paper up at that angle, <laughs> which would be technically like that, I guess. Seems to be what my hand wants to write. I'm definitely not managing to follow. I'll try on this next one. Next we're on Aravind, which I still don't know what Aravind wants. What up, Nan? Oh, Instagram. Uh, the humidity is low right now. My humidifier is usually going, but I think it ran out of water. But that's pretty sure not why. It's this, this ink is, I mean, it's acting. It's just not mixed correctly. I don't have the right um, water to gouache ratio yet. I thought I did. 
thought I had it figured out, but uh, I haven't done a full writing session with this ink at all or this paper. So. Uh, fuzzy, no, no slant guides, just just horizontal. All right, air of wind. Buh, what happened there? Dug in. <laughs> what is happening? Why are you doing this? Yep, I'm going back to, I'm going to go to bleed proof. Because now I'm not sure if this is the paper or if this is the ink. Because it could be the paper. So I'm going to go to bleed proof and if it does it on bleed proof, then it's the paper. Which is disheartening. Some of these live videos are turning into tune in and watch Mike write horribly videos. Sorry. My apologies. I swear I'm a good penman some days. Haha, <laughs> what up, Lizzie? Nice to see you. Okay. All right, bleed proof. Let me know. Is it the paper or is it me? With our next name. Or maybe I'll try. I'll do Aravins again later if I get through all of them. Next up we have Roxana or Roxana Inc. Here we go, Roxana. When you're bothered by your mobile company, you're bothered by everything like Jessie and her boyfriend Aaron. Aaron's mindless humming was starting to get to Jessie. His mindless humming was starting to get to me. Me too, Jessie. But since switching to public mobile, where there's rewards that lower her phone bill, Jessie is now free to feel the love again. Nice. It's definitely brighter. Hey, no contracts, the way it's no mixed. And no hidden fees. Save more at publicmobile.ca. Prefer the hairline of the other one, but I don't like that it keeps stopping. Okay, next. Ooh, we have Musharraf for Mush. M U S H A R R A F. M U S H A R R A F. Mush isn't here tonight. Am I on a slant line? I can't even tell. Or if I'm on a baseline at all. Doesn't matter. How do I want it? 
end this. Oh, come on. I think it's the paper that doesn't like my fast strokes. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Jesse's name. Uh, our commercial protagonist. All right, for Luxury Man. Oh, Luxury Man wants Muhammad Ali. All right, all right Muhammad Ali. Bottom of the page, so I will use a glide sheet. <laughs> Thanks, Lizzie. Just because I'm going to deviate from the list here real quick, because one of my friends from LA that I haven't seen for a long time is in the chat on Instagram. I'm going to write Lizzie's name just for fun, because I can. I was not ready for those three descenders. Okay, now Muhammad Ali. sheet of paper and I'll do Muhammad Ali. Messing up too many times on this one. <laughs> I want to try the gray now. Get out the gray paper. We'll see if that looks good on camera or not. If not, I'll go back to um, I'll go back to the black. But I want to try the gray paper. Has anybody told me that I have a very soothing voice? Soothing, not particularly. People have told me I have a very uh, unique voice. Never really know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> but people do make comments about uh, my voice relatively often. Um, yeah, AK, I, use, I normally do. I did Lizzie real quick. Um, but I've, I've been saying the name and, and who requested it. Like right now I'm writing Muhammad Ali for Luxury Man. on gray paper, which I legitimately have never used before. So we'll see how this works. Ooh, that is pretty. I like that I can see the lines on the gray paper. I have studied voiceover work, actually, Jose. It's, um... In the next coming months, I'm hoping to sign with a uh, a dance slash voiceover agent here in Vancouver and sort of audition for some voiceover commercials and stuff like that because I feel like it will be fun. I've taken classes in it uh, because people my whole life told me I had an interesting voice, so I figured I would train it. This voice can't sing, but this voice can talk animatedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, AK, Lizzie's a good friend of mine from when I lived in Los Angeles. Let's see here. It would be fun to do voiceover work. What am I writing? Muhammad. I need to focus. I am a distracted 
squirrel today. This wrong MMAD. The great, I don't want to make this like review too quickly, but it genuinely, I feel like feels smoother than the black. I got to keep writing with it to get a better gauge of it. But so far, I mean, I've only written one thing on it, but it feels really nice. This is also a very strange connection that I've never done before, but I kind of like it. Random, not what I planned on doing. My plan was to do this compound curve to stop and then go just around into the A. I didn't, was, wasn't expecting to do another compound curve. That kind of happened by accident. <laughs> What's going on, Roman? Uh, Roman, you could also jump, if you want to jump on Instagram, or sorry, uh, uh, right now, Roman, I'm going live on YouTube as well. And you can see the other, the other two camera angles that are, that are live at the moment. <laughs> this is a, a full live evening everywhere from every different angle. Uh, I can't move the Instagram camera, unfortunately. I, mean, I, I guess, I mean, I can do... I'm worried that... Wait, let me try this here. I can move the camera. It's going to get in the... In the other stream's way. I'm going to... This might ruin everything. But I'll try to do it for you. Take this off of its tripod. There's Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm -hmm. Weird connection. And I kind of I got a little wonky thing going on the second uh, hump of the M, but that's all right. <laughs> uh. Practice my strokes quite a bit, Roman. Quite a bit. Here we go. All right, who's next? Instagram user Magnolia Leaf has requested me to write Victoria. I will write Victoria next. Oh. Huh. Uh, oh, just Winnie, I have... No, I haven't... I rarely use my machine machines. It's not the best for my really fine stuff. I can find it. Where are you, machine machines? This is what you're talking about. Machine machine. It needs to be shaken or if it's just good. But now I want to try it. Let me even just pause what I'm doing. I'm a distracted uh, individual today, apparently. Yeah, I feel like Sheen Machine is a little too thick for Movement Spencerian, if memory serves. But. We will see here. It is such a cool ink. And now there's, if I'm not mistaken, there's a Sheen Machine 2, I think. It's even sheenier. I think. Don't quote me on that. Such a thing might not exist, but I feel like it.
Oh, I made a mess. I got machine machine dry ink everywhere. We'll try Victoria in Sheen Machine Ink without any warm up or practice with this ink. We'll just go for it and we'll see how it writes. Kind of what I was worried of. I got to see what it's like when it dries, but because the swells go so thick in Spencerian from hairline to thick, um, it's not like a, uh, it, there's not a situation where I can not have, I can load less ink. I was doing like a long shaded stroke. Oh, see that too, just goes so dark. Hold a straight line. Um, like I know with a broad pen, you get the you get nice shading in there, but the ink comes out so thick with um, uh, movement Spencerian that I feel like I mean that's just dark. Once it dries, it will probably have the sheen. Like the hairlines do have the sheen when I move my head around. Um, but I think I'm gonna stick with the white for now. I need a new paper towel. I'm going to leave Sheen Machine on my desk though and do some more experiments later. I mean, Sheen Machine is dope when it dries. Uh, and I'm actually not mad at those hairlines came out actually really, really nice. Um, I do remember when I got this ink, I did a good deal of messing around with it. Um, cause I know, cause you can thin it down and whatnot like that. And I did a fair deal of messing around with it, trying to get it to work better with my writing. Um, and then it just never, none of the papers that I wrote with or that I wrote it on or wrote with it on, um, had the qualities that made it dry really nice uh, or to get sheeny so it didn't have the the proper effect so i never really used it as much but maybe now's the time if, now that i have this gray all right sweet dreams lizzie nice to talk to you thanks for hanging out and i will see you soon Okay, let's move on to Native to My Heart with Like Olga. Ooh, what? Oh, are we gonna do something? Uh oh, I think there's still some sheen machine on my nail. Whoops. Olga. Sorry, that was almost out of frame. Oh. oh yeah, they are getting they're getting sheenier as they dry that. That V swell is gonna take a minute. I could use a paper towel and suck some of the ink out, but that's when that one's gonna take some time to, to fully dry, I think. This Going back and forth from a, a very vibrant blue ink to a white ink is not a very smart choice. <laughs> On a blue nib, so it's really hard to see when I have it fully clean. They're not fully clean until you just fully clean. Oh, what up, B? Sheeny. Sheen machine. Oh, and Aga's here. 
So Aga, who just joined in the Instagram chat, um, she was the reason that I was in Poland when I got this shirt from Mr. Cam's and when I got Sheen Machine. So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have this shirt, nor would I have been able to write with that ink. It was all because of her. And she is now an Instagram chat. And it's 7.30 in the morning in Poznan in Poland right now. All right. Let's go. What do we got next? Susburn would like me to write Suzanne. I can do that. At least I think I can. Suzanne. Nice. That worked out fairly nice. I have to say, this is still just preliminary um, reviews. Oh, bye, Peter. Have a good one. Um, the gray. I had asked people if the gray was smoother or what it was like to the black. So far, everybody's told me it's the same, but it definitely, to me anyways, feels way smoother than the black. Oh, Aga, we'll have a, we'll be able to do it again. Don't worry. One day, we'll have another calligri calligraphest. Poznan. Maybe this year, fingers crossed. Or next year. All right, what's up next? Next, we have Maxi Calligraphy would like... Maximili. Maximili? Maximil? M-A-X-E-M-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Not exactly sure of the pronunciation, but I know the spelling because you gave it to me, so I will write it. M-A-X-E-M-I-L-L-E. This might be a weird choice, but I'm going to try something here. Oh, Maximil is in the chat right now. Nice. Lurking. <laughs> I don't know if what I'm going to do is going to work. Because I've never done it before, but we're going to try something. If it doesn't work, I apologize. There, new ending stroke that I've never done before. A fun idea, I like that. There you go, Maxi. <gasps> and Roy wants Roy Foley because it's horrible to write. Why is Roy Foley horrible to write? I disagree, Roy. I don't know if you're here or on Instagram. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Is 
Is it ZA? Z-H-A? Thank you very much, ZA. Or does that stand for something else? Oh, you're very welcome. This has got to be confusing to watch because I'm having two conversations at the same time. and You guys are definitely only hearing one. Apologize, Instagram, that there's no music. Uh, I don't know how I can sort that out. Roy Foley. Okay. Because it's horrible to write. I don't think it's horrible to write. I mean, maybe it is, and I'm just wrong, but I don't feel like it's going to be horrible. I don't feel, Roy's not in the chat right now, but if you watch this, Roy, then I will message you on the Discord or something after this. Your name is not horrible to write by any stretch of the imagination, in my opinion. I think it's quite nice to write. All right, who do we got next? Nekata. K-A-T-R-E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Katrisim. K-A-T-R-E-S-I-C-I-M. It's her name on Instagram, and I saw she was on the Instagram live at the very beginning. Don't think she's here anymore. But K-A-T-R-E. Here we go. Oh, Gather's in the chat on Instagram. Nice. Oh, I saw your messages before. Sorry. I didn't connect your name. Right on. It's weird because I get used to seeing people's, like, the pictures. Like, I'm used to seeing your face on your Instagram picture. And then <laughs> on YouTube. I don't think I've ever actually, I don't... You know when you like when you read a name in a book or something and then just that name just turns into that name and you don't ever read it, it's like and blah, 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 you know that character. I start seeing just like the purple circle with the white K. <laughs> so like I know Jose is the yellow face. Um Oja Swinney, I see her name. It's less her picture. Each person sort of has their own little thing that catches my eye when I look at the chat. K-A-T-R-E. Hey, Spotifyers. Click or tap the banner to listen to Discover Weekly. New every Monday, Discover Weekly is made just for you to help you find your next favorite artist. Brought to you by Adidas and the new Ultra Boost 21. Welcome to life on high energy. Here we go. He's crossed twice, technically. All right. Through Playful Eyes wants me to write Nicole Ashley. Can do. <laughs> Purple circle with a white K. <laughs> That's, 
That's how I will remember. If I meet you in person, I won't know who you are. I'll know who you are on Instagram because I'll recognize your face from the Instagram picture. But I won't know that you're circle purple with a white K from YouTube. My brain won't connect those dots. <laughs> that one turned out really nice. I'm going to say it again. I'm a couple more, a couple words farther down. It could be that I'm just finally relaxing. Um, or that I have a, a baseline that I can easily see. But so far, the gray feels much dreamier than the black did. The gray feels great. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy Boo. I think I'm gonna drink some tea. Tea was on the floor, I forgot it was down there. Aha. Hey, bye, hey. Welcome. <laughs> you gotta let me know. When you meet me, you gotta be like, purple circle, white K. And I'll be like, oh, what's up? <laughs> I'll know exactly who you are. Oh, we could have some wine. I actually think I have an open bottle of wine. I'm gonna write a couple more words and I might, I might, uh, I might get a little bit of wine. Well, my tea is almost cold, Fuzzy, so that's par for the course. That's about normal for me, forgetting I have tea until it's cold. All right, who's next? I don't think I missed one on that pay on that group. Ah, Grapeet, all right. Repeat, Kaur, K-A-U-R. All right. K-U-R-P-R-E-E-T. I've been digging capital G's lately for some reason. I like them. They're just clean. So I'm going to do them. I'm going to do this quite small, I think. It's just such a pretty letter. You guys are really far away if I'm writing that small. Get you closer. <laughs> Cheers. Nice. Oh, pancakes. That's almost as good as wine. Or just winning. Ooh, a peach teeny. Right on, Marilyn. Get it. Oh, what are the odds? Two K names. Oh, whoops. Ah, here, let me finish Gurpreet's and then I'll go back to uh, Nicole's because I fully announced hers and then never wrote it because I'm a jerk. There we go, Gurpreet's name. Yeah, I fully said Nicole Ashley and didn't write it, so we will write that now. I got distracted by T, I think. Oh, Grapreet's in here! Woohoo, yes, I, rem I know I recognize your name from class. Oh, that V up here is still... It's starting to... Dr I mean, it's still pretty wet. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> From now on, I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've dubbed you. That's your, that's your name now. You could, that's, you could just have that as a name tag, though. Just get your business card. It's just a, a circle piece of paper with a white K on it. You hand that out and people know you. Purple, purple circle, white K. Oh, thank you very much. 
Oh, good night, crafting with a flourish. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a splendid evening. All right, I gotta go back to Nicole Ashley real quick because I skipped that one by Accidente. Gurpreet, it's the name. It's Gurpreet. That's the that's the the trigger in my brain. Just like Oja Swinney. Oja Swinney's name is her is her my mental trigger. Gurpreet is Gurpreet. Thank you very much. Demon Tooth? Demon Tooth? Is that how you say that? That's cool. Demon Tooth. Here we go, Nicole Ashley. Those are very light. These hairlines. They look so fine on the gray. All right, who's next? Amber Toronto wants Amrit Singh. All right, A-M-R-I-T-S-I-N-G-H. A-M-R-I-T. Can do. Yeah, I don't know. This playlist is rocking tonight. Is this the right playlist? That we... Yep, this is the same one we lose list listen to. Just making sure I'm still listening to music I'm allowed to have on my live stream. I didn't accidentally start a different playlist. All right, Amrit. If I can pull this off, but I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to do the S with a trick stroke. So, if anybody doesn't know what that means, I'm gonna try to do an S that finishes its last stroke on its way out right here, as if it was going into the T, as if the T did the S backwards. The goal. There's a good chance I won't hit it, but I'm gonna try for it anyways, because we dive in and we, we got nothing to lose. Uh, Aga, I am using Bleedproof White today. I was using another ink. I was testing out this ink, which I've heard is amazing, and I'm pretty sure it is amazing. I like the hairlines. I just don't have it flowing quite uh, good enough yet. It's the, uh, this is, what's it called? Oh, that's, I'll go to the English side. St. Petersburg Masterclass Titanium White Gouache, um, which was sent to me, and it is apparently really good i haven't got it mixed um proper for me yet but it will get there it was working pretty good this afternoon when i was playing with it but today's my first day with it so i gotta give it a little more uh time yeah saint petersburg master class 1934 guaush guaush okay this is a little bit stressful, but I want to see if I can do it. Yeah, all right. We got this.
almost. Across Canada, 35,000 people are homeless each night. Many don't have access to doctors or the health care they need. That's something we're helping to change. Kelly's Help for Good brings medical and mental health care directly to those who need it most. Our mobile health clinics bring compassionate care to the streets of 13 communities across Canada. Learn more about our mobile health clinics at telus.com slash health for good. Let's make the future friendly together. There we go. When Robert Singh, he broke his arm. Nice. That's what he's always thought. Every Next up, we got swears that I never broke my arm. Now, Lori Paulinetti would like me to write Lori, which I can do. L A U R I E. I'm Jonathan Goldstein. And on the season premiere of my podcast... Yeah, it was new for me, too. It was uh, Mohamed, to the, the one who told me about it. Um, Tap to listen on Spotify. And it seems like it has a lot of potential. I just got to get the mix. I'll, do, I'll dive into that tomorrow, I think. Get the mix exactly right. I'll get a little more precise with it. Um, Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E. Oh, I slowed down a lot there. Whoops. one's a fun one uh by it's um people earlier today i posted in my instagram stories uh for people to suggest names so everybody uh requested a bunch of names so i'm not i'm not taking live requests at the moment if i get through all these names before it's time for the for the session to be over then i'll take um i'll take live requests uh, and i'll do names of anybody in the chat but um, currently I'm working my way through names from people on Instagram earlier today. What do I got left? How many? Still about, we're about halfway. Because <laughs> I got, I was really slow getting started. I might not get them all done. There's no, never a guarantee. Oh wow, this one's going to be challenge. Badderly wants Badradin Barudi. Oh, that's a fun one. B A D R E D D I N. B A D R E D D I N. Okay. Here we go. Which B do I want to use for this one? Oh, you're welcome, Lori. That was for you. There we go. Oh. Ha! See, Lori, I've never once read Lori's last name on uh in on YouTube. I always just read Lori. She's not uh turquoise circle with a white L. She's, it's just Lori. She's the Lori that comes to the late night lives. <laughs> but I didn't piece that together with your, uh, with the Instagram thing. Sorry. I'm not very good at remembering Instagram handles, apparently. But dreaded, but dreaded. Weird. Oh, I was out of frame. Sorry, that's a weird B. I don't know if I like it. But I was experimenting. It's like the Bailey B, but I cut it off part way. Maybe a bad choice.
Oh, I keep writing off. Yeah, I'm going to zoom out again. Now that I'm writing bigger, I keep writing out of frame. Sorry. E A R U D I. Here we go. Nice little underline there. Yeah, it's kind of a, this is something that H.P. Berensmeyer, that H, I guess it's H.P. Berensmeyer, so we couldn't really do it exactly like this. But this would be if somebody was like H. Berensmeyer. This is like a ligature that somebody like Berensmeyer would potentially use. Technically, these aren't supposed to be far apart or on different angles, so it would look much more, less like an H. They're a little bit far away right now. Okay, new sheet of paper. I'm gonna stick with the gray because I'm liking this. That v, that v is still super, you can see the sheen machine shining. Sort of, there it is. Shine, shine, shine. It's not super blue though, it's mainly just a really, really dark purple. I might have to either shake the bottle a little more, or the swell is just too thick with, um, uh, with movement, or the way I do that shade to look the way it's supposed to. Oh, reaching to the floor. Why do I store all of my things on the floor? I need better storage. This whole unit, once I get around to ordering the parts, building a whole unit back there that'll hold everything I need so it won't be so scattered around me it's Valentine's Day this weekend wait I didn't even realize I've been single for way too long to remember when Valentine's Day is <laughs> all right who's next Levent CRK CGI would like me to write Levent, L-E-V-E-N-T. Levent, Levent. Ah, uh, Tisha, this, uh, will this be saved? It won't probably be saved. I'm probably not gonna save the Instagram live um, because it is posted in 1080p on YouTube with, a, with the chat that's over there. Um, and it's always saved on YouTube. So because this, the entire stream is over there uh, with music, and whatnot, I will probably not, I haven't decided fully, but it doesn't really make sense to have it be on you or on Instagram as well. So I probably won't save it on Instagram. If you wanna check it out, I would recommend going to the, uh, to the YouTube video. Okay. L-E-V-E-N-T. How to do, I'm trying to think of different cool creative L's that I can do, but maybe we'll just do a classic, a classic one. That is, okay, my ink needs to be stirred. There is a hairline there. It's just too fine for you guys to see. Oh, thank you very much, Tisha. We go live every Tuesday. It's on YouTube. Uh, the link is in my, um, oh, there it is. Uh, Marilyn just posted it. Thanks, Marilyn. Uh, it's also in my uh, in my bio. And we go live every Tuesday night for usually two, three hours, depending on the energy. Levent. That's, I gotta stir my ink though, you can hardly see that one. No, IG is still going to my, no yeah, it's still, it's still live. Since nine, it's a very long Instagram. I'm pretty sure I've done really long ones on Instagram before. Back before I started doing um, 
YouTube one. <laughs> or just when he, you're joking. I don't believe you, not even for a second, that your mom walked in and asked about my manicure routine. I'm pretty sure only David Grimes is obsessed with my manicure routine. Which doesn't exist, by the way. I don't have a manicure routine. I just clip my fingernails and smooth them off when I'm done. That's it. Um, I just recently started having a face, a face, face wash routine. Face skincare, I don't know what you're supposed to call it. Never had one, like a proper routine really before. And I have like a legit routine now. For, for facial facial cleansing, but not for my hands. My hands just get washed normally. My <laughs> nails get clipped, and they get lotion, and that's it. Usually, I guess they have the lotion and the stuff from from my face routine, but yeah, this is David sparked everything. <laughs> if anybody's on Instagram, curious who the heck I'm talking to right now. I am live on... Oh, Nick's in here. What up, Nick? Uh, I'm currently live on Instagram uh, with a top-down view and a face cam, and there's a, a replayable chat in there. So if anybody's on Instagram and is looking for uh, a potentially slightly better live uh, experience, then you can follow the link in my bio and jump on to the YouTube live. Or if you want to hang out on Instagram and watch the video there, by all means, do that. I will keep them both up as long as they both <clears throat> stay up. There, Marilyn just posted the link to the to the live. What's going on, Nick? I'm just over here doing, you know, writing some spaghetti as we do. All right, Hobgoblin underscore 238 would like me to write Tana. T-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Can do. How, what tea do we want to do? How can I make this look nice? That was a nice, I like that accent shade. That is like the perfect size of accent shade compared to the uh, the other hairline for what I would what I would like to do. Those are those things when uh, in previous weeks when you hear me say, and that Pimmin did that sort of, it was a process or a, it was from the movement, less from them adding an accent shade. That's what I'm talking about when those little moments happen. They're not intentional, but they, they're just because of the downstroke. I don't know how I want to finish this Across one. Canada, 35,000 people are homeless each night. Many don't have access to doctors or the health care they need. Here we go. Tana. That's something we're helping to change. Kelly's Help for Dogs. Oh, good night, Lori. Thanks for hanging out. Directly to those who need it most. Have a splendid evening. I'm glad I got to your name before you had to leave. That makes me happy. Who's next? We got Levent. We did Boyaga. We got Tana. Ooh, Crafty. Crafty Iris E would like Iris. I R I S. Nice and short. Can I do a twister out of this eye, I wonder? I don't usually do twisters. Maybe not a full twister. Maybe just two. We'll just do a, a spiral. Or three, that'll work. A little bit of a spiral going in there. Yep, the gray, it's definitive. Unless the page of black I had uh, was scratchy, the gray is way smoother than the black is. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think I can do it. But what would be cool, what is going on in my brain right now, is I want it to look like this S does a compound curve and comes around and continues to match right there. But the smart way to do that would be to have started the entire letter like this and then matched it with the lowercase letters because that's easier. Because I don't think, I don't know if I'll be able to hit that. Oh, and the hairline disappeared. I hit it, but it didn't work. But it is sort of there, but it disappeared on the bottom. <laughs> Whatever. Looks good enough. Luella Parsons. I can write that one. I'm actually going through Nick right now. I have a, I still have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more uh, previously requested names to get through. Let me write down. Luella Parsons. On my list here. As I make my way through. We did Iris, we did Hannah. Now we need Calligraphia May wants Miriam Tunka. M E R Y E M T U N C A. All right. M E R Y E M. M E R Y E M. Oh, why did I ruin it with this sh crappy shade? Those ovals were nice. Oh well. Super tiny lowercase letters. Here we go. Miriam Tunka with some loopy dupes at the end. <laughs> it kind of does look translucent. It's definitely not, but it looks like I have a. Yeah translucent, uh, like a tracing paper over top of black or something. Yeah, it definitely feels smoother. Okay, who's up next? The Right House wants me to write Mansi, M-A-N-S-I. M-A-N-S-I. Try something ridiculous just to see how it works. We're getting we're creative this evening. Getting some I haven't done this type of creative free writing in a while, just exploring other ideas, things that I have never done before or don't usually do. It's kind of neat. Sorry that those hairlines are kind of tough to see on the video. I hope they're still visible. Oh, Calligraphy Maze in the, in the chat, right on. You are very welcome. <laughs> I love, nobody, you know, the people, you guys don't chat until I write your name and then you say thank you. I never know you're here. But I'm glad you're here to watch it. it makes it more, more fun. You're here to see your own name be written. 
Okay, Jocelyn, T-Y-L, would like me to write Jocelyn. J-O-C-E-L-Y-N. All right, how loopy are, gonna, we, are we gonna get with this J is the question. A-O-C-E. Don't spell it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Jocelyn. There we go. Lurkers everywhere. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's just nice to know when, when people are in chat. Basically, I just like when you guys talk to me. Makes me feel good. Oh, I totally skipped a name. I skipped a few names. Wow, I really made my way up this page a lot faster than I was supposed to. I skipped like three names on the way here. Okay, let me go and check these off from the beginning to make sure I didn't miss any more. Jacqueline Isabel. Mamet. Muhammad Ali, Victoria, Olga, Suzanne, Maxie, Roy, Katya, Nicole, Capreet, Tamrit, Lori, uh, Julie. Oh, there I skipped both of these. Hong Viet Ha. Whoa! Fun. I can't believe I skipped two. There we go. We'll go back to them. The order isn't important so long as they get done. Not that they have to get done, right? but, but I would like to get through the whole list. Oh, good night, Jose. Thanks for hanging out, man. Have a splendid evening. Where did that come from? There's blue all of a sudden. I mean, it comes from the sheen machine, but it's like there was a dried dab of sheen machine somewhere on my nib that all of a sudden... Weird. Where did that... Or it was on the paper? No, I think it was on the nib. Strange. That was very interesting. <laughs> this name has an ombre effect unintentionally. Appreciate the conversation, Marilyn. All right. Viet Ha. Oh. with a random blue V in the middle, by accident. All right, now we have 
Malvina or Malvina or Malvina M M A L W I N A. A lot of M words today. You can write your your H's any way you want. You just gotta be creative on how you make it work. A L W I N A. banner to listen to discover weekly new every monday discover weekly is made just for you to help you find your next favorite artist brought to you by adidas and the new ultra boost 21 welcome to life on high energy marina here we go your most life-changing sleep is about what okay then we have the ones we got okay <laughs> we have a long one we have buriaga agaburi Buri Yaga Aga Buri. That is from my friend Devin. And Buri Yaga Aga Buri is the name, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the name of the Jedi Wookiee in Star Wars. It's not in the movie, but in the Star Wars. Uh, B U R R Y A G A. A G A B U R R Y. Buri. Aga Aga Buri is his full name. <laughs> yep, exactly. Buri Aga Aga Buri. I don't know if that's exactly how if that's how you pronounce it or not, but that's the name. So we will write it. Or did the video die, Nick? Uh oh, my Instagram might have gone down for a moment. It looks like it's working again now. Buri Yaga Aga Buri. <laughs> the Wookiee Jedi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Buri Yaga Aga Buri. I can always count on my buddy Devin to make some random ridiculous suggestion that has nothing to do with or that is just random out of nowhere. Always. <laughs> Fuzzy is your OMG. Whoops. I think I spit on my page by accident. That'll drop. Is your OMG in reference to my uh, my Wookiee sound? Or just the name in general? Okay. Who do we got next? Tana. Miriam. Okay. We did Jocelyn. Now we're on Roseni. Oh, Roseni's in my Spencerian class at the moment. Yeah. 
R O S E N I. R O S E N I. I'm gonna try to get my stems nicer. My stems haven't been looking too nice tonight. Unfortunately. Ugh. Try again. Why aren't they good? I don't get it. They should be good. No. I'm not happy. Ah! <laughs> nice. Yay. What do most people say? Rosany? I guess you I would imagine you get Rosany a fair bit. What is happening? I can't do a stem shade today. What is going on? That looked neat on the video because there was a splatter of ink there or of spit, I think maybe. And they went nothing and then the bleed, the ink went bloop into the clear circle. So it was like that little T had a growth. That was funny. I want to watch that video back after because I like that part. These stems are driving me nuts all of a sudden. Okay, I need my glide sheet. Look, I'm at the bottom of the page. And it fell on the floor. <laughs> Wookie sound. Hey, don't hate on the Wookie sound. It's a good sound. It's funny because it's the same. I make that sound all the time down in my throat. But to get it like stretched out like a Wookie, you literally have to go, or I have to go. Like I have to open my jaw as wide as I can to get enough space so that it's separated to get it to sound like chewy. To get. So it's not just a hard start, it has to like fade in. <laughs> Otherwise it's too abrupt. It's something I've practiced probably a little too much. And analyzed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this, Rosini. Sorry, you, you tuned in, or you, you, you're here, and you're watching me almost write your name. Not quite. I want to get the stem right. And my stems are turning out unpleasant today. That shade was good, but where'd the hairline go? Come on. Okay, we lost the hairline a little bit, but that shade was good. We're gonna leave it at that. Rosini, with a pen underneath. She's a pen. Glad on. All right. New sheet of paper. What are we on? Paper three? Four, if we count the black one that we started with today. Where did I put my paper? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, Chicla, I'm not currently taking... Um, requests. I had a. I posted on my Instagram stories earlier today, so I'm doing everybody's. Uh, I'm doing all the list of people that that commented on the story. And then once I get through that, if we're still live, the live is still going. 
then I will start to, uh, then I'll take requests and whatnot. Oh, peace out, Fuzzy. Go be a gymnastics mom. Oh yeah, to do authentic Chewy, it's gotta come from way down here. Otherwise it hits the, like, easier. Because there's no tongue involved. It's all, it's like gargling when you gargle water. Uh, back side of the paper? I think. I don't want to put this all the way down. Uh, nope, there's a little bit of, no ghosting, but there's a little bit of texture where the shades were, which is very natural and normal on pretty much any paper when you do really thick swells on it. Um, but no ghosting or anything. Not with this ink anyways. Have a go on Fozzie. Yo, what up? Kenny in the house. How's it going, Kenny? I'm just writing through a list of names that people suggested or that people requested in my Instagram stories earlier today. So I'm testing new paper, which I've never used, uh, and just writing people's names. Right now I'm about to write for Billy Dreamer, Penelope Boone. Penelope. Good night, Marilyn. Have a good one. Oh, I made that last one a little too long. That's okay. A little too. Should have gone. I would have liked it in hindsight to come up here and cross through the P, but. <laughs> Dynamite. Alright. Just because it's you, Kenny, I will write Dynamite for you. I'm not supposed to be taking requests. Staying in control of your money can be tough. Luckily, the CIBC Smart Account helps by actively monitoring your everyday banking. It even sends you alerts when you may be short funds and reminders about upcoming payments, so you avoid unnecessary fees and stay in control of your money. Open your CIBC Smart Account today. Get $300 and pay no monthly fee for up to 12 months. That's not just smart, that's everyday smart from CIBC. Conditions apply. Learn more at CIBC.com smart. No matter how big or small your business is, making your own ad on Spotify Ad Studio... I'll give it one of those because it's an exploding dynamite. One, let us know yeah. what you want your ad to say and <laughs> pick out your music. We'll voice and produce it at no cost. All right, cost. who's up next? A.K. Adam writes, ooh, I don't know if they're still in here. Music tastes and more. Three. They were very chatty earlier on, but they might have gone to bed. They want me to write Akilesh, A-K-H-I-L-E-S-H. A-H-I.
trying to get these super long matching centers. I want them to be really long and skinny. Just a simple shade to finish it off down here. Like so. Like that. Alright. Next up we have Jessica Beers a Billion. Beers a Billion? Beers a. I don't know how to say her last name, but she would like Jessica. So I will write Jessica. What up, Jesse? Welcome. I don't know what happened. I deviated off my path, and then before I knew it, that happened. It's like a Dennis Swan J by accident. Too schnazzy there by accident, so I'm gonna keep the ending relatively simple. Just like that. Jessica. <laughs> Sometimes you just let let the pen go where it wants to go and you see what happens. Uh yeah, Jesse, it is. Uh I was using the black before, and then when I finished one page of the black, I switched to the gray to test it out. Today's my first time using it. And I like the gray way more than the black. Um, I feel like the grays, I don't know if it's just, it might be just the page, the page that I use, but the gray feels so much smoother to me. Like, way smoother than the black. All right, now we have Suscribe. All right. Or Suscribe. Or Suscribe. I've always, I've always said Suscribe. I didn't know there was a, I never noticed there was two E's on the end. We will do that one. S O U S C R I B E E. All right, and that, I do believe, unless I've missed more, but I don't think I did, takes me to the end of my list. I think that's everybody who requested a name. Now I'll do, I wrote down here, or Nick, I don't know if he's still in the chat or not, but that's okay, we will do the name anyways. We'll do Luella Parsons. Welcome. I know the blue, the, the blue pad, uh, I want to say it was from Paul. There was a video that mentioned that it wasn't as good for pointed pen, whichever the blue pad is. Um, I got the black and the gray, but the black feels scratchy to me. Yeah, that's Suvix. Um, I never knew there was two E's on the end. Oh, 
Well, where'd my hairline go there? Let me mix my ink and try that one again. Lousy. Oh, interesting. So yeah, it could be either just the pad I got or hopefully just the page I was using. Maybe it gets better. Oh, the blue one has a slant. Okay. Yeah, that's not good for Spencerian, I don't think. I think the texture is also not good for Spencerian. From what I feel like, it was Paul that said that. I can't remember exactly who posted that, but. I feel like it was him. Luella Parsons. We go, Luella Parsons. Oh, Nan, that is a long last name. I will try it though. I'm not even gonna read the last name yet until I'm done writing Nandita. A-N-A-N-T-H. Okay, we'll go that far for now. H A R well A R A M A N. All right. Ah, thank you very much, Vesalia Studio. It's uh, some of it is planning, um, sort of the a lot of the exercise or sort of the exercise of nights like this for me when people give me names. Um, some of them I just sort of choose to do uh, how I would naturally just do them. But when I when we do that as artists, we fall into our habits and always doing sort of the same thing. So it's fun oftentimes. I like to experiment, um, 
And though it's not <laughs> usually something that is, is taught or recommended in a lot of the old books and stuff like that, ow, in a lot of the old books and stuff, it is, um, I find a lot of joy in not caring as much about the outcome and just letting the pen sort of go where it wants. And um, sometimes it doesn't work. A lot of times it doesn't work, but sometimes it works really well and you stumble across things that you would never thought of before. So, the more you do it, the more you get used to planning the, the connections. And then sometimes you just trust your hand to do the connection by itself and make it look good. Ah, oh, you're very welcome, Nan. Now, how, I, now I have to try to read your whole name from beginning to end. Nandita. An Anantaraman? Anantaraman? How do you say it? Oh, yes. There's not many people, Nick, that recognize the folded flange. Good eye. Um, uh, was it last week or the week before that? Uh, David Grimes was on Insta was on the YouTube live, and he was asking about it. It's, uh, yeah, I folded this one as a, uh, a mock uh, vintage um, folded flange. And I always talk to people. People always ask and think it's like the best. Or when I do it, they think, oh, I have to do that. And it, uh, it doesn't really, I don't think it makes it better or worse. I've just sort of fallen in love with the way it has makes the nib sit uh, sort of below the pen rather than uh, higher. So I've fallen in love with it. But yeah, it's not something that, to my knowledge, any modern uh, pen maker does that I know of anyways. I think it's a lot more challenging because there's more folds, so it's not as easy to to knock them out. It requires a little bit more tinkering uh, to get to get right. But it is uh, it is my favorite whoa, of the flange setups these days. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, if you didn't catch on, uh, Nick Taquano, who's on Instagram right now, was asking me about my folded flange, and there's Aravin just put his hand up. Um, is he folded a folded flange uh, the other day, actually, after seeing this one, which if you want to see that, you can check it out on my Discord in the Tools and Supplies. I think that's what the channel's called in there. You don't pronounce the A after the H in your last name. Anand Anandhramen. Ananthramen. Ananthramen. So that's right then? Ananthramen? Ananthramen? Ananthramen. No. There's no A. Anan yeah, Ananthramen. No. Ananthramen. No. Ananthramen. Ananthramen. This makes me want ramen. Not gonna lie. I've said ramen enough times now that I want ramen. What I like about it the most, Nick, is um, unlike like a standard flange, well, here, let me put a pen in my, in my regular holder, they, I always show people when they ask for sort of the differences, I show them these two and how they are very, very, like this one, this whole flange is pretty much flat with the paper, whereas this one is sticking up at, at much more of an angle. Um, so they look like they are completely different, but in my hand, the nib orientation for both of them is the exact same to my body. But the difference is how it orients with the pen, so the angle of the nib is the same, but the folded flange is the only flange design that enables the nib to drop down, below, um, which I personally like. It's I don't assume it would be everybody's cup of tea. and. I don't always write with the folded flange. I think, I, I don't remember, maybe a month ago, I folded this one um, and I've been writing with it. But I mean, I write with this one just as much as that one. And I write with all of my other pens, not quite as much as these two, I guess, these days. They're my they're my current workhorses, but, um, but yeah, those are the, yeah, I've, I'm liking the, the folded flange these days. It's enjoyable. Somebody in chat had asked 
not long ago for a name. I'm gonna go back and write that one. Ozzy Mandias. That's a cool name. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but it sounds cool. O Z Y M A N D I A S. What do we wanna do? A double shaded O, maybe? Oh, I forgot the Y. Dang. <laughs> Shoot. I was off to a good start there. Take or do over. Shikla is still in here, but there is her son's name. Yeah. Nandita. Well, I say Nandita exactly like Mike said, not in a very Indian way. Okay. How would it be in, in an Indian way? Nandita? Is that how you'd say it? Sorry, I don't, please don't think I'm being rude or racist. I'm just trying to imagine how it would be said. Oh, Erevin says, Tan, tan, Tantita. Tantita? Tantita? Nandita? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop before I get myself in trouble. Nandita, Nandita, Nandita. Whoa. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, this hasn't happened in a while. Oh, we have a new chatter on the YouTube. Oh, I didn't take into account how this was going to work with Instagram after midnight. Oh, hey, Amy. <laughs> have a good night, Nick. You're leaving right as we turn into a after after hours party there's a, a transition that happens without my control at midnight and you drop the the black light drops down now it's going to be really close i didn't really take into account the instagram um oh no it's good it doesn't really get in the way of the instagram Get a paper that works with a black light. This paper most definitely does not. Get something a little bit lighter on here. Here we go. And then this music will just not do for a For a late night live. Need to find something. There was one, I found it the other day. Is it this one? Remember if this is the one that I went with, or that I thought was going to be a good midnight choice. Sure, why not?
How does the Sheen machine look in black light? That's a good question. I'll check that out in just a sec. I need to tweak one of these camera settings to make this a little bit brighter. Oh, and I froze my camera. Darn it, anyways. Sorry, everybody. Two seconds. My face cam disappeared as I broke it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab it from the back and check it out in a sec. <laughs> Erevin, I like the Erevin's making the rounds. Checking out, going from YouTube to Instagram to see what things are like over there. I feel like this transition to Blacklight Party has been so slow with this setup. It used to be so much quicker. Alright, let's get some ink down on the paper to see how the brightness looks. So if you've never been here before, at midnight everything turns into a little bit of a different type of jam. I don't know how much long past midnight I'm going to go tonight, but we made it to midnight, so we'll stay here for at least a little bit. Oh, I need to get the guide sheet. My nib is scratching terribly all of a sudden. Why? This is pretty smooth paper. Yeah, I don't, because <laughs> I'm wearing contacts. That's the funny part. You can't see it normally. I would have my glow, my glow glasses, which are right here. But I've been wearing contacts for the past, well, pretty much since the new year. I would normally have my glasses, but... Nope. Thanks, Roseni. Alright. The nib snappiness shouldn't be from the ink change. Hmm. And of course, my lights are out, so I can't see the nib. I'm trying to get close to the black light. I can't really see the nib. Too dark. So we're just gonna have to go with it. Or maybe I'll use my other nib. I'll use my Leonard. Maybe is a smarter choice. Oh, I could, I guess, put my glasses on my hat. The brim might hide them. Staying in control guys. of your money can be tough. Luckily, the CIC <laughs> smart account My eyes are way up high. Monitoring your everyday banking. It even sends you alerts there we go. Maybe short funds and so my hat it looks like... Oh, that looks really weird. Because my eyes are not where my reflection thinks they should be. That looks weird for me. But... <laughs> and they're too far forward. I feel very alienist. <laughs> 
Commissioner Shaq Swartzire, we're talking predictions for MVP this year. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Jack, my money's on the Epson EcoTank Gummit Printer. Excuse me? Oh, dude, it doesn't use cartridges and comes with a ridiculous amount of ink. Uh, sir? Okay. Of trips to the store. Sir? Yeah? You know MVP stands for most valuable player, not most valuable printer, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. MVP. <laughs> Oh, we lost. We don't got very many people on Instagram at the moment. We lost everybody. I feel like we lost a lot of people on YouTube as well. Because my transition after midnight is not very smooth. So the writing ceased. My apologies. Sorry. <laughs> Erevin's feeling the music right on. That's good. Well, hey, Desiree. Good afternoon to you. I don't think your name is Desiree. Sorry, now that I read your name. That's re sorry. I got your name wrong. I'm just not going to say names because I'm failing. Names are hard. Now we'll just win. He's over here too. <laughs> oh, what's going on, Ben? Welcome. I'm just, uh, I've been, how long? We've been live since 9 p.m. here. Um, I've been live on Instagram and on YouTube. And it just struck midnight, which means all the lights in my apartment went out and the black light turned on. We are writing in black light now for a little bit. I was doing Instagram names uh, or people's names. And now just chilling, writing sort of whatever. We changed the music up. Give a little bit more of a uh, nightclub vibe. <laughs> oh, nice. For other people, or are you just writing all your own Valentines to people? I want to go to the store and get like one of those boxes of the kids' ones and just fill a whole bunch of them out and give them to everybody I know. I should do that. Light is slightly too far away on the top down camera today.
Uh, Blue Ghost, it's called, Erevin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see Ojus when he's in both places. Oh, that's nice. I forgot to make a post to get... See if anybody wanted... Love letters written to their significance. I should have. something like like this here I'll write a fake love letter or a love note hmm how to start My love. First paragraph will read. Something to the effects of... All the water. Oh, ran out of ink. All the water. Oceans. All the uh, water in all the oceans of the world. Not compare. Whoops, messed up that L. Not compare. Love. Boy.
<laughs> what do you mean, Ervin? What comments on the old penman? Signed. Who wrote it? Signed. <laughs> Signed. Your love. <laughs> Here we go. There's my my love note for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, zoomed out too far. See, there you go. If I zoom out, you guys can see Instagram. There's Instagram. I should have done that earlier so you guys could have seen how close it is. It's right in my face. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> nice, man. Oh, so total, I mean, it's not a morning class, but I now have tap classes on Wednesday. So I have to be a little cautious about how late I stay up Tuesday night. My class isn't super early in the morning, but it still requires me to wake up earlier than, uh, <laughs> than I used to have to on Wednesday. I used to be able to sleep in indefinitely, but I cannot do. Oh, Mush, you missed it. The black light's on now, so you can't really see it. Uh, and all the lights are off in my apartment, so I can't really find it. I wrote it, though, and I talked about you. It's uh, the replay. You'll see it on, on YouTube. You can go back and replay it. It was... Let me see. It was towards the end. Let me look at the sheet here. Sounds like it. And soon enough, this could be you. Where is your name? I remember writing it. Oh, there you are. You're close to the beginning, Mush. Mush? 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 Sorry if I say that wrong. Daily moisturizers. So you can say goodbye to chapped noses. And say hello. Oh, right. Or just when he wants to see the machines. Click or tap again in the shop now. I'm Ashley Flowers. And there's nothing I love more than stumbling upon a mystifying... Not very kind, asking me to find... I'm digging uh, into different kinds of mysteries. Crimes, paper in a black room. ...and unexplained events where the most hidden things oh, isn't always the most rational ones. Supernatural yeah, that's it. With Ashley so... Is a Spotify original <laughs> Sheen Machine Under Black Light just looks black. <laughs> you can't even... Yeah. can't see it. Sorry. I gotta find a way. My black light doesn't shine bright enough on my video. I mean, this isn't black light paper, so everything is super muted. But yeah, Victoria, this looks essentially black. It still looks wet, though. Which, I don't know if that's the sheen machine making it look wet, or if it's actually still wet. Because it has, like, depth. I don't want to touch it because it still looks wet. I'll see you when I'm done. Moosh. Give me a thumbs up if it's so it's with a U. Moosh. Moosh. Thank you very much. That is good to know. Alright. Let's write a few more things. I don't know if it would really show up in blacklight because it's a shiny ink, but there's no iridescence or anything. Like, there's no... I don't think there's anything that would really shine in there. I don't imagine. I could be wrong, but... 
because it is very dark. Whoa, I dipped way too far into the ink on that one. All right, what should we write here? I don't have a list of things to write anymore. Valentine Day. Love is the season, is the season of love. Do your sign, my signature? We'll do the signature that I use the most right now. I'll show you guys it. This is my current signature. Oh, my ink died here. Okay. <laughs> what up, Fuzzy? That's my signature. Currently, except it's supposed to have hairlines that go through there. MG Ward. And then my old signature that I don't write anymore because it's too hard. But my original signature and the one that's on like all my my website and all that kind of stuff is this one. Oh, can I remember how to write it? Jeez, I haven't written it in so long. I will try and see how it goes. There's my other signature, the much more complicated one. No, Fazza, we haven't made it to glow lights in a while. Today was a fun one, and I made it, I finished the list like right before uh, the glow lights. You missed it, Fazza, you were gone. I wrote a, I wrote a love note for Valentine's Day a moment ago, and then and I was requested to do my signature. Yep, a little bit of Snap City going on. I'm getting, I did these two in a uh, whole arm movement and not forearm. So chance of snaps is higher. And I got a little free with those. I got a little slack with my, uh, <laughs> with my control. Oh, you want to see the old one? The old one's a fun one. Uh, there's a, I have a, there's two more 
that I, I can't even remember. I've designed two more. Um, one of them is more of like a monogram that I can't write. And then the other one is extremely loopy that I have done on, a, in, on one of these live videos a long, long time ago. Um, but I would like to learn to write that one more. But this one I use the most these days because it's um, it doesn't have as much margin for error. So I can use it pretty much on anything with any pen and it always sort of looks recognizable as my signature. It is cold in my apartment right now. I'm shivering. I feel like my heater just doesn't work. I emailed my landlord about it today, actually. I feel like it's just dying. <laughs> yeah, the monogram was cool. I can't, can't remember how it went. It was neat. One of these days, I'll figure it out. What up, Dodd Potard? Dodd Potard? Did I say that right? Dodd Potard. Ooh! Moosh, yeah, I do actually. Um, I'm thinking March. I think we might do a um, Sig Sling and Sunday challenge in March again. Ugh, that was a bad, bad design choice. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Port of art, nice. Yeah, six thing in We might do it on uh, in March, maybe, maybe April. I got to see um, how my schedule feels. I was actually going to make a post, seeing if people wanted to suggest or request um, favorite signatures if they have some. Normally, I pick them, but. I figured I would give people a chance to suggest their favorite if there's one we haven't done yet. Oh, whoops. Ran out of ink. Oh, that's okay. Six Sling and Sunday isn't exactly the easiest thing to remember. <laughs> what up, Wes? Michael Saul? How does he write his name? Is it on his book? I don't know if I have. I may have. I probably did a long time ago. Uh, currently, with the black light, I'm using a Leonard Principle. Let me grab my book off my shelf. I want to see how he likes it. <laughs> this is great. This is hilarious. Now the chat is all on Instagram and not on YouTube. The chat is normally all on YouTube. Will a new series come from the late night sessions? Um, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I haven't, I don't have any ideas or nothing like really lined up for as far as series, like the uh, comparing capitals, but I will probably think of something eventually. Before that series, all the late night lives were just random writing sessions. Um, oh, do you mean, whoops, too many things going on with this light. I've never done that M before, Fozzie. I've seen it before, but I've never tried it. So, we're gonna try it today for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, it's much, the contrast is a lot higher on Instagram. I have to figure out, I can't figure out how to make it do that on my main camera. I should be able to. In real life, it is super vibrant. Uh, like it's, it's glowing as bright as my shirt is but my camera doesn't do a great job of showing off the brightness. I have to Google it. Comments on Google is a pain. What do you mean, Mush? Why? 
Is it because you're on the app? So the comments go through the screen? I'm guessing that's why. Staying in control of your money can be tough. Luckily, the CIBC Smart Account helps by actively monitoring your everyday banking. It even sends you alerts when you may be short funds and reminders about upcoming payments, so you avoid unnecessary fees and stay in control of your money. Open your CIBC Smart Account today. Get $300 and pay no monthly fee for up to 12 months. Oh wait, That's I didn't make that smart. circle big enough. That's but he does that. Smart from CIBC. He goes Conditions up. Apply. Learn more at CIBC.com slash Oh, so that's an ugly one, but that's the idea. Okay. I'll try that a couple times. A couple more times. <laughs> Thanks for popping back in, Fozzy. Appreciate it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> All the people chatting on Instagram, well, or on Facebook, well, sorry, on YouTube, not all of them, but most of you went over to, uh, to Instagram. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Martha. Oh, this is true. Instagram does have the nib scratch sound. I will figure that out. I'll do some, I'll do some tests and I'll get my video figured out to get the colors looking better and whatnot for the black light. I'll figure it out. I haven't done enough work trying. Is that how he does it? Oh, no, he puts that shade. Two shades on that one. Interesting. Hello, loops and ligatures. All right. Figuring out this M of Michael Saul. I'll get the scratch sound back or on the YouTube one. I didn't know it was missing, nor did I know that it was so important or so that everybody liked it so much. I thought it was always there. Um, but I'll figure out how to get it back. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hey, Ciaz, um, am I going to teach uh, The Art of Movement Writing 1.0 again? Probably. Um, it's not in the on the schedule or anything, uh, but I'm certain I will teach it at some point again. Um, it's a fun one, and I really enjoy teaching it, so I definitely will teach it again. It used to be on the... Okay, here. I'm gonna try something real quick. Is the volume on YouTube? I know none of you are on YouTube anymore. Oh, that's okay. You gotta go when you gotta go. And you're very welcome. Uh, and thank you for requesting your name. I will see you on Instagram. Now, I'm going to... Since it's late here, I want to, I want to see, I'm going to change mic settings. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, if anybody is on YouTube still, I'm gonna write. I wanna know if you can hear the nib scratch now or not. I can, and let me know if the music needs to get turned down to get the nib or to get the scratchiness going on. You guys are here now, so you can give me your, your input and we can figure it out to get it sounding exactly what you want. can't hear anything. Music isn't loud. Okay, that's good. You can't hear it, really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me figure out where I can get it. <laughs> oh, sir. Two seconds here. Where it can go. I still hear my voice. Okay. Right. But I'm not always, I don't plan on always running these on IG. I just kind of did that today as sort of a, a special little thing. I will also say the lights are brighter on Instagram today because the I can't bring the, the light any closer. Normally I would bring the light a lot closer to my writing on YouTube but I can't because my phone is in the way. Uh -huh. the, the Instagram camera is in the way of where the bulb would normally hang. Okay, now what about now? Can you hear the nib if I write now? None says she can't hear the nib. Jesse only hears the music. Do you hear my voice still? Oh, you heard a little nib. Okay, <laughs> but not enough. We need more nib than that. All right. <laughs> Mush, right now I have three. Um, my my normal YouTube, YouTube is always a two camera setup. Uh, and then today I have, um, I have my other, or my phone is giving me a, an Instagram live feed. But normally it's just uh normally it's just two. Whoops. That was not good. That was not good. So my voice is loud and clear and the nib is only Kind of well. Okay, so the question is, how can I get my nib loud? The nib should be loud. I feel like something is trying to be smarter than me and cut the nib off or cut the sound out. There is no noise suppression going on now. No, there's no music on um, Instagram because the music is playing through uh, my computer and into my wireless headphones. So there's no sound in my apartment right now other than the sound of my voice. Um, so Instagram doesn't, get, doesn't have music tonight. Because if I did, the microphone would pick it up and it would, the microphone for YouTube would pick it up and it would get all echoey and not good.
little bit on the pen. Not enough. You know, we want to get more. How can I get more here? Oh, what if I did this? Oh, you don't want to test this out. <laughs> okay. Test number three. If you can hear my voice, and if you can hear the nib on YouTube. <laughs> a little microphone on my pen. Funny. I mean, I have a little wireless microphone, but I don't think I want to put it on my pen. Could, I guess. You can hear the nib. Is it loud enough? This, is this what you guys need? Uh, Moosh, some 303s maybe. Um, I would say that that's definitely not the case for the one that I'm using or the ones that are this fine uh, because they're this bet they're more flexible and finer than the Leonard Principle, so they. They take you straight to Snap City pretty quick. So flourishes are loud. And my voice still sounds okay on YouTube? Okay, the nib is good, we can... We can chill the music out a little bit. I don't know if that's too much. I don't hear the music volume the same way you guys, so voice is good. That's good. Nib. Sweet. I'm trying to write extra scratchy. Staying in control of your money can be tough. Luckily, the CIBC Smart Account helps by actively monitoring your everyday banking. It even sends you alerts when you may be short funds and reminders about upcoming payments. I mean, both of them can technically write on any paper. It just requires uh, the 303 and the Leonard Principle. It just depends on how light the hand is and how, how fast you're going. What is going on with my slant line? On the journal, we talk to reporters covering the coronavirus, the people affected by it, and the public health leaders trying to contain it. Do you think over the last few months... Get out of here, coronavirus advertisement. This is the first time the ads have mentioned coronavirus. Get out of here. I'm sorry, Shush. I'm glad you asked that question, but in some respects, I'm not. Tap now to listen to our full interview with Dr. Fauci and all no. episodes of The Journal on Spotify. All right, so is this sound more appealing on YouTube then? Keep in mind that on some, uh, some lowercase strokes, the nib doesn't actually make any noise. Unlike if I was doing engrosser script or copper plate, if I was going slow, you'd always hear a consistent going on. 
but for movement writing, a lot of the lowercase letters don't make any sound. So there's not always going to be a scratchiness to hear. Usually there is on the capital letters, but there's not always anything, even for me to hear, and I'm right here. <laughs> what? Or oh, just when he, everybody else said they could. I'm not putting pre-recorded scratchiness in my live videos. Like my foil videos. I put a pre-record the foil or the, the peel. No, that's cheating. This song makes me feel like I'm at some after hours club that I had to wait in a back alley to get into. <sighs> you can no longer hear the nip. Okay. I'm gonna give up here. <laughs> Maybe this microphone just isn't capable of picking up the nib sound. It's close, it's right here. It should be able to hear it. I don't see why it can't. It's honestly like it's cutting it out because it thinks it's noise or something. It's trying to outsmart it. it's in my I will mess with sound settings another day <laughs> RMRNG ward uh oh did my phone just freeze no okay good I mean, that's what a targeted microphone... I mean, this microphone's not supposed to have any uh, noise cancelling. Unless the noise cancelling aspect is coming from my computer and not from the microphone itself. But I'll have to do that off of YouTube. <laughs> What's going on, Mom, Ed? Yep. Midnight party vibes. We haven't hit midnight in a while, so I figured today we'd we dip into the into the into the midnight oil just a little bit. And now I'm just writing any old thing somewhat haphazardly with not a very fine nib. <laughs> is s my favorite letter no 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 my favorite letter to write is probably b i don't always write them very good but i like the letter b s is challenging it's not my favorite s is tough I've probably dedicated uh, more time to the letter S than a lot of other letters. Um, just because of how challenging of a letter it is. G 
J is a very fun one. It's not my favorite, but it is. Everybody knows that I have a lot of fun when I write the J, and I always write it the same. Pretty much that way every time. But I have a lot of fun with the letter J. It's, a, it's an enjoyable one. N and M drive me crazy. I find them... Well, N, I like. M, M annoys me because I'm not as good as, it, as I want to be. And it's in my name. Um, I've really been liking... Lately, my favorite letter has been the capital G. Uh, similar form is the S. But I've been really enjoying the traditional... Capital G form. Come on, let's get a good one here. It's better. Yeah, they're relatively consistent, and this is a nice letter. <laughs> and then that G is shockingly, or that J shockingly just kind of happens. Um, I used to hate the J letter. Ever, other people have heard me tell this story before, but I used to really dislike the letter J. Um, and I used to start my M's um, that double looped way. And then when I learned that I could go from that same entry into my J, and then end it just with like an oval like that, it changed the J for me. Um, it made it... Very fun. Hmm. What am I trying to do here? Are you guys literally just saying each letter? I mean, I do S all the time because it's really difficult. Um, it's a letter that I I think is absolutely gorgeous, and I want it. I want to be able to do it really good, and I my issues with it are pretty much always in the exact same spots. And another reason, um, one of my favorite practice strokes, or like when I'm getting warmed up for a session of writing, my favorite practice stroke, my favorite drill is that one. It, um, the continuous, uh, the continued, um, oval. Oh, now I can't really, <laughs> I just realized the fuzzy part of my microphone is so close to my desk now, because I'm trying to get nib scratching, that it's going to get dragged through ink, so it can't be where it is right now. <laughs> All right, thanks, Moosh. Have a good lunch. The capital C is shockingly, or is, like, weirdly a very difficult letter to write. It shouldn't be as hard as it is, but it is very challenging. Um, yeah, I wish it wasn't as hard as it is, but it's a very tough letter. For reasons unknown. What if I put my microphone over here? I don't know if it'll reach. The audio won't reach. I need another long tripod. If my phone wasn't on Instagram, I could use that one. But sorry if you hear crazy sounds on Instagram. Or I mean on YouTube. I'm messing with my microphone right now. Trying to change its placement. To get <laughs> the pursuit of nib sounds. I don't know if this one will work, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, the capital C is a, it has a couple weird spots in it that make for difficult transitions. Um, like the one, the first one is this turn right here. 
it's same as the S and the L, but when it goes from the horizontal oval and then transitions into a very narrow um, oval on the slant line, that's a really abrupt going up there. And then to come down quite quickly and be slightly rounded and not pointy, that's a tough spot. Um, and then you're going into this implied angled oval and you have to make a transition to an angled oval, an angled exit oval, and you have to get that smooth. And one interesting thing, when you get that, if you get that smooth, like if that's a nice shape, the issue that then comes in is when you add your shade, if, you add a sh if your shade ends up being right there, it can mess up the inside line. Um, it can mess up the shape when the shade's added. It's why a lot of times people have trouble creating uh, these shaded letter forms in like Illustrator and stuff because they don't seem to follow the proper um, symmetrical flow to look right. They kind of, they need human tweaks to make look good. But the C is a doozy. Doesn't seem like it should be, but it's, a, it's one that's always giving me trouble. I've always liked the B. I think the B has been the letter. The first B I fell in love with was this one. No, oh, wait, was let me do again. The first B I fell in love with. was this one no not that one i lied i haven't done this one in a long time was this one let me try again that version of the b from michael saul or, alternatively, adding one extra loop into it, so it looks like so. This music is intense. Oh, I didn't do it. It's focusing on the music. Or that one. Uh, that's the letter that made me fall in love with the lower or with the capital B. Whoa! -oh. For those of you that are still here on YouTube, Instagram cut me off. Apparently, going. Four hours is as long as they will let you go on Instagram Live. Yeah, it's really easy to do the C, um, to have the shade low on the C. You mean like down here? That's a bad example, but yeah, keeping it low. It's a uh, exercise that's good for that. Um, it's not geared specifically for the C, um, and I say it as an exercise that I should do more, but there's one that progressively builds from figure eights in the uh, in both of the Lessons in Ornamental Penmanship books, and the one that has the shade up at the top that one up there that gives you the shade either just at the top, or you can do, there's one that has top and bottom, and then one that has just bottom. But practicing that going up and quickly into that shade, um, and then ending the shade quickly as well, will really help you gain, I guess, control of, and just habitually adding that shade fast. Because you need to end the shade before you hit the middle point, you don't have a choice. So that trains you to go really quick. Um, I did have an option to save it, and I downloaded the video, but I'm not going to put it on Instagram or on IGTV, I don't think. Just because we have the YouTube one here, I don't feel like we 
Like, should I? I don't see the point in having the Instagram one saved when YouTube is right here. And it's the same thing. I still have, I'm still on the ending window where I can choose to save to IGTV or download. I hit download, and then a little while later it said error. So I don't know, maybe it can't download. It says video saved, but then a little while later it popped up error. So I don't know if it can download a four hour long video. Maybe that's the issue. I, sh I would be able to share it to IGTV, but I don't know if there's any point. There's no music. Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to. Oh, I did it again. Error. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I think I've decided I'm gonna... I mean, I, wa I wish I could download it just so I could watch it back. Can I... I don't... I just don't really need it on my IGTV feed. There's nothing really there for the first half of it. It's just... I'm engaging mostly with YouTube. What to do, what to do, what to do. I'll just leave it. I don't need it. That has ASMR yet. I'll work on that. I'll see if I can... I'll try to get that figured out. Now that I know how much everybody wants it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if the videos... I gotta go back and watch the videos from the old apartment. Before I move to see if they had... Scratchy sounds. Nobody ever told me that my videos didn't. So for months and months. I feel like I just assumed they did. But if they didn't, that's not good. Because they should. Everybody likes scratchy nib sounds. At least, as most people do. If I tried face cam audio. Oh, from way over there? No. I don't think that would pick it up. I think it's too far away from the nib. And it's also, I mean, it's an old phone. It's not going to be a great microphone. I'm trying to think what else I could do. I could. I'm trying to think. I could potentially bring in another tiny microphone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could use my face cam audio. But it won't sound as good as this one. This microphone should sound better than all of them. It just doesn't catch the nib sounds, which is unfortunate. It should, though. I'll mess with it. I have another another small uh, lapel mic that I can maybe clip somewhere. I'm gonna experiment and see what I can do. I'm assuming I can come up with something. Probably. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna end there, folks. Oh, as that song ends. Before the next song starts, I will pause Spotify I think that is the end of the night for me. I'm rather tired. Uh, and for the past half hour, I feel like I've been just talking about nib scratchiness and whatnot. <laughs> um, thank you very much for hanging out, everybody. As always, this was a fun one. I enjoy doing people's names. Um, still deciding if we're going to do some themes. If you have any ideas for cool themes or cool ideas you'd want to do for the um, Late Night Lives, post them in the comments below on YouTube, and we can, uh, I will check them out and see if we can make it happen. But yeah, it's a good one. Please have a beautiful remainder of your morning, evening, night, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, make sure that you are falling in love with the process. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that life should be 
just a bit of silliness, really. Good night, everyone.